Hello again. So, you are back now for another video about the mass swing. So, we're going to try to put together the pack of your hands into the into the old back swing. So, we're going to reach half swing. Uh, means we're going to follow the, the same motion then we put in place for the EXO 1, which with a short remind will be moving and activating your feet so trying to keep the shoulders and hips moving together transport by the action of your feet it's going to actually tilt my spine slightly to the right but we will add to this level lever the action of my hands so uh no uh, assuming the fact that the end action is now correct into the vertical motion onto the way back so my right hands will actually move backward we can see the this move actually activating my right forearms muscles which has never been the case if I'm just rolling like this because if I'm rolling which is classical more more classical way of swinging I will have to roll it back if I get that move muscles are in, in action so it will just react to the acceleration and the transferring motion of the spine the left hands for will just react to the action of my right one, so I don't, I don't want to try to control, manipulate this one. So let's put ourselves in posture. Let's try to mix this end action with the action of the spine and see where the clubs take place. Again, I put myself in posture. Same story, always the same. Drop my arms, place my spine, slide and get my right hand on the club. So I'm gonna make my move and add my hands. We can see that now my my wrist plays the club already in the plane. So if I might just move from the side and do the same motion, the club is into the plane. We can see that I've actually have created 90 degrees angle between my right forearms and the shaft, which is only due to the fact that my right hands have play backward influencing my left one so we talked before about the passenger passenger will still be the top part of your body so I'm just gonna get that passenger sit into the train now from there as for the EXO 1 lesson I'm gonna just forget all the top of my body including my hands and I'm just gonna snap my left heel on the ground it's gonna extend my legs pick up the right heel that can actually make my shoulders Move, bringing my right shoulders down. All of this releasing action is actually just a pure reaction of my right forearms muscles actually stretch into the way back and they're gonna just react if I'm just let the club unfold and come back to the impact area. So let's put a ball now and see if the speed increases. Alright, get myself set, full straight. Hands back level, drop down, kick my heel, get my hands on the club. Let's go for one more like this. The speed definitely increased. I don't try, as we said before, I'm not trying to use my shoulders into the, into the player. I'm just keep everything connected and to the way back, the club is actually on the plane. My shoulders haven't turned. It's still in connection with my hips. It's gonna move from my feet, the club will just fall, drop and fall because of the muscles are stretched and the impact will be done on my side as we said before. Here we go. We can note that the impact is on the side. I'm actually finishing quite the front of my target. This is a shot that you can definitely use on course, of course, you're gonna use that one for short clubs. So until the pitching wage, you still can make it. Over than that, we'll need the last part of the rotation. We're gonna set the shoulders, hit, and your knees dead over the ball. From there, same action. Definitely see my ball actually sliding under. They're gonna create tremendous power through the impact. This shot can be played anytime on the course. You just have to try it with your old second of wedge, trying to know your own distance. Practice this one. 
Next one will be into the last part of the shoulders. And don't forget to just pass, move through all of these videos as, long, uh, as soon as you can. Just trying to really visualize the whole motion of the, sp uh, of the skeleton. You just put everything back in, play, in place as fast as possible. So you guys, hit hard, keep learning, that's going to be the key.